Dear Senator, President, hard applicants and senators, we are sorry we were unable to join you in the Florida Senate today. For the past four years, we have traveled to Tallahassee from Sunrise to speak at committee meetings and to watch important votes. However, just before Christmas on December 21st, Eric Farrell trying to get out of his bed and fractured his right hip. He has had surgery and finally came home Friday. He cannot put any weight on his right side, so he is essentially bedridden. As you can imagine, these days he is in need of our attention on all of his daily care needs. Eric's fall is a direct result of brain injuries he suffered from the automobile collision he survived almost 14 years ago. His balance and lack of muscle tone make him extremely vulnerable to falls whenever he tries to move from his wheelchair or his walker to his bed, chair, or the bathroom. After 14 years, we are most grateful to each of you for helping us reach our goal of justice for Eric and providing him with funds that will hopefully assure him of the care he deserves for the rest of his life. Without your help, it would never have happened. Thank you for giving us peace of mind. While Sharon, while Sharon Eric, and I cannot be with you in the gallery today, we are you, you, with you in spirit. We are most grateful to you, Mr. President, Senator Banaquista, and all of the members of the Florida Senate who have taken your valuable time to get to know Eric and been, been so supportive. We also would be remiss if we did not thank our House Champion and Bill Sponsor, Representative James Grant and members of the House. So we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your commitment to Justice for Eric. I can assure you that you, your support will make all the difference in his life. May God bless you. Sincerely, Chuck Brody.